Also, if you're like me, I've been having a little bit of an obsession with sling bags for my camera gear. Which brings me to my next thing. This is a Nomadic Luma Peter McKinnon collaboration a sling a nine liter bag. I know it sounds like a mouthful, but it's actually pretty cool. See, I personally bought the Nomadic Peter McKinnon Luma 18 liter rust camera bag because it just looks so nice with the color and the size of it just made so much sense for me because I had other bigger size of bags. And after creating some content with that bag and everything, Nomadic was very kind enough to send me out this little nice sling bag to do some content with because they just enjoyed my content and they support me as a creator. So I wanted to kind of put this to the test to see how good it would be. Now let's open this up. Bam. I currently have my Sony a7C Mark II with a 50 to 300 lens to fit inside this nice little sling bag perfectly, as well as a nice little camera that is a nice point and shoot film camera. My little magnet thing for my Go 3 because I have it right in here in this little pocket where I can have it just to have a little bit of the behind the scenes type of camera. As well, I'm putting a little bit of an extra battery right here just because it never hurts anybody to have some extra batteries for your camera so that you don't miss out on content creation. And lastly, if I turn it around, I have this nice little pocket where I put an extra memory card because you never know and a little bit of an air tank just for safety reasons because, well, as you know, as a content creator, having camera bags, you don't want to lose anything and you can be in, you know, a little bit of danger of people stealing your things because they see camera gear that they could resell. So better be safe than sorry. One of the cool features that this has is the magnetic close. If you have it right here, if I just close it, you hear that? If It's kind of hard to like lift up because it has some magnetics kind of just pulling it together to close it so that you know it is nice and close if you want to put it around you, which is something that's very beneficial when you're out creating and you don't want to zip up every single little detail. It's just nice to be able to kind of open it a little bit hard where it just won't open on its own, but you know it's easy enough to kind of get your things ready to go. So now you're probably wondering, how does it look? Well, here it is. I'm not much of a model, but you get the point of it. So now if you're interested in getting one of these bags, the price of one of these ones is $120. But the price point of that is probably gonna be a little bit pricier than some other you know, brands because of the collaboration with Peter McKinnon. Now, does that mean that it's not gonna be good enough quality? Well, no, it's going to be good quality. I've loved my Nomadic Luma 18 liter bag. To be honest, I probably use it way too much now because I did win the Peter McKinnon 35 liter bag a while back and I use it for longer trips, but for an everyday carry, kind of type of small backpack that looks really good but has enough space for my storage for camera gear my 18 liter has been amazing so now for me loving the color of it loving the features of my 18 liter having a 9 liter sling bag that is the same color and just the same kind of branding of it just makes so much sense to me i know some of you might think and be a little bit skeptic because they sent me this product but i am going to talk about what i like and what i don't like about it so don't worry about that not everything is positive because every Everything can have some room for improvement, no matter what brand, no matter what it is. There's always going to be some things that ticks off for your checklist and some things that didn't. And maybe in the future, they might bring it. So I'm going to talk first about what I like about this camera, then what I don't like. And then we're going to see it out in the wild because we're going to take a road trip to Austin today to use it. See how I would like it for traveling. And as we'll give you my final thoughts at the end of how I enjoyed it or didn't enjoy it whenever I was out creating content with it. So, so far what I really like about this camera bag is just the size of it. Despite of it being a nine liter bag, it doesn't feel overly big. It's very nice with the color and the features that it has. It's very minimalistic in a good way. To be honest, for me, what I like about having camera bags is that they don't look like a camera bag. And that with this one is a very obvious that it's not really a camera bag to me at least. It doesn't look like it would be a camera bag. It might just look like you're just bringing your own bag for something. Obviously, people are going to think there's going to be things in it. That's just life. But for me personally, 
I like that about a camera bag. What I do like about this a lot, which some people might not, is just that it doesn't have overly about too many trying to things of like pockets. Nothing is worse when you have too many pockets that are just not really usable and that you're taking real estate that it just doesn't make sense to have. For me, when it comes down to a sling bag, I don't need to have it where it has every little detail that I can bring so much gear because the purpose of a sling bag is to condense down. For me personally, having this amount of gear is perfect for just an out and about day of shooting where I wanna have maybe my behind the scenes with my Go 3 so I can bring it with me. I have my camera for photos and maybe some video and maybe a film camera that I want to bring with me. I know personally I could probably fit another lens in here, but for the purpose of today, I'm not doing it since I'm gonna be using it right now to film with this. Now, another thing that is really cool is just having that hidden kind of pocket right here. So if you wanna put your keys, your wallet, for me, I just put an air tag just to because I just want to hide it better. It's obviously very nice and it has a nice little handle if you really need to, you know, kind of handle it that way for just moving it across for whatever you need to. And it's adjustable and everything like that. Now for a little bit of the con that I think is gonna be a con for most people, despite of it being a nine liter bag, it does feel smaller than what it would be with a nine liter. I do enjoy that it's not a massive nine liter bag because I have seen the wondered bag that was a six to nine liter because I got the six liter. The nine liter just looked massive and compared to this one, this nine liter does not look that big and I'm gonna show you next to my six liter bag. So hold on a second. All right, so this is my wonder bag. So I'm gonna show you a little bit of them side to side so you can get an idea. As you can tell, they're both very similar in size, which kind of baffled me a bit when I saw this one being a nine liter bag. Because if you don't believe me, here is the six liter sign of the wonder bag right there. So yeah, it's crazy to see that this is the six liter versus a nine liter. And to be honest, the nine liter of this bag would have been massive compared to this one in sizing, I'm guessing, which they both have their pros and cons, like I said, so it just really depends on what you're after. This feels more like a traditional kind of pouch, if you know, like those kind of like, I guess they call them kangaroo pouches that you might want to have like a fanny pack. That's what it feels like with this. This one is more like a bag center kind of feeling where like it just feels like you have something on you that you can open and kind of go where it's not maybe too much of a fanny pack style. So really it's just more an aesthetic preference. I like both to be honest. I like the aesthetic of this one for certain things and I'm liking this one for different styles as well. But enough rambling about showcasing this bag. We're gonna go put it to the real life test to take it out to go create some content and we're just gonna start our road trip to Austin. So with the YouTube magic, we'll see you there. So we made it to Austin and we're gonna go explore a little bit cause it's kind of in the hottest part of the day. So we're not gonna be going about it too much. Just gonna see what there is, take a couple photos, you know, bring the bag with me right now to, you know, explore with it just a little bit. See how it feels to just go ahead and take some photos out here and, you know, have some fun here in Austin since it's been a long while since we've been here. We are here exploring the nice local businesses in the Austin area just to be able to support some nice cool places and also get to explore the scenery while taking out this bag nice and comfortably. I was able to store away my camera, but I was also able to get some nice photos like these. So far, using this bag has been very great. I like it a lot because it doesn't feel heavy at all. It feels really nice on the body and it's nice and easy to take my camera in and out of to just go ahead and take photos. So, so far I've been liking it quite a bit, but it is time to go explore even further. Well, we're here in the downtown area in Austin been nice to just bring this along with me and just be able to take some photos of the kind of cityscape you know skyline style uh, we're here not at the nicest time of the day which is just the harsh lighting but we're still just taking some photos and enjoying because we're supposed to actually go to Mexico to Cancun but there was a little bit of a hurricane and I was gonna be doing some nice photos over there with this bag but um, yeah the hurricane decided to come and well we just decided to come to Austin to do something 
and something we did because we came out here to create some content while taking out this bag for a spin. We wanted to take the nice scenery of the skyline of Austin to take some photos from here in this bridge that we found that was pedestrian friendly to be able to put this back to the test and get these shots. Now that we're done taking some photos, it's time to keep moving along to test out this nice camera bag and just walk around with it to see how I feel about it, how it hangs and everything, find a spot to just relax, you know, have a little bit of a thought here and there. But anyways, let's check in with myself to see what I think about this camera bag so far. Pretty good. Well, we're done eating and enjoying the views here in Austin to just have a little day trip to see how well the nomadic luma 9 liter sling bag would work for me personally i think this bag is very comfortable for such a size i mean having a 9 liter sling bag that doesn't feel like a 9 liter bag is very helpful when you want to be out and about to create photos or videos or anything so you can get you know as whether it's your camera to be able to take photos or have a bit of lenses or anything like that just to make sure you create your content a lot smoother but it was just a little bit of a day trip just because we were supposed to be in Mexico but like I said the hurricane decided to stop that so we wanted to play it safe and not go you know down south to like the uh, Cancun just to like you know go to the beach and then have a hurricane be stuck there not be able to come back so we just wanted to go ahead and do a little bit of a day trip test out the bag you know I'm going to try to do use it more for other types of you know trips and styles with that because it'll pair up nicely with my 18 liter bag that I have from Nomadic which is also the rust color so just pairs up nicely and it just looks so aesthetically pleasing that's you know something very beneficial that I think but if you have any questions about the bag or anything at all just leave them down below I'd be more than happy to answer anything that I can to see if it's the right bag for you for me personally, I just enjoy having a small setup whenever I can, especially now that I have the A7C Mark II that I can pair up, whether it's with my 20 to 70, or if I want to bring the 35 to 150, I'm able to. This time I brought the 50 to 300 since I'm still testing out, since I'm going to be using it later on in the year, uh, thanks to Tamron. So yeah, it's pretty great. And you know, if you have any questions about anything about it, let me know down below. But with all that said and done, guys, thank you so much for watching this video. Make sure to like and subscribe. Share this video with a friend. I'll catch you guys in the next one. See ya.